Hallelujah. Let all the people praise them. Let all the people praise them. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you this morning from theme Choose Ye This Day. The Bible, the ballot, or the bullet. Choose ye this day. The Bible, the ballot, or the bullet. We are living in perilous times. We are living in prophetic times. Yes, sir. We are living in pitiful times. Yes, sir. We're living in a time and a culture in which the decisions we make mm -hmm. are life or death. This is not a time to waver. This is not a time to be ambiguous. This is a time to be clear on who you are, whose you are, and to know who and what you believe. The Bible is the word of God. Yes, the Bible yes. is history, yes. prophecy, mm -hmm. poetry, mm -hmm. social justice, mm -hmm. ethics, philosophy, anthropology, yes, science. It is the gospel. Pauline letters, his epistles. It is the word of God, a love letter. Yeah. Yeah. Written by God to his creation. The Bible yes, serves as our guideline for godliness. The Bible serves as rules for righteousness. The Bible is our road map from earth to glory. Yes, it is the Bible yes, that Mama used to read to you and tell you that everything going to be all right. It is the Bible. Grandma used to quote way over in the midnight hour that weeping endured for a night. But if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, joy will come in the morning. Choose ye this day, be it the Bible, the ballot, or the bullet. On Tuesday, we must use the Bible to help us develop a framework that will move us to vote this week. The ballot. We must use the scripture, specifically Matthew 25, to appraise and assess the positions of all of the candidates. Jesus gave us a framework in Matthew 25. He says we must feed the hungry, yes, clothe the naked, yes, visit those who are in prison, help the least of these. Uh -huh. As you've done it unto them, you've done it also unto me. The back. 
was worn on the backs of the blood, sweat, and tears of Fannie Lou Hamer, Denmark Vesey, Nat Turner, Benjamin Mays, A. Philip Randolph, Rosa Parks. If we don't vote on Tuesday, we are doing a disservice to our legacy. We are doing a disservice to Rosa Parks, a disservice to Martin Luther King, a disservice to Mary McLeod Mathieu, a disservice to Mandela, a disservice to Malcolm, a disservice to Emmett Till, a disservice to Swerner Goodman and Brown. If we don't vote, We have a responsibility not to sit home and complain. If you don't vote on Tuesday, you are a part of the problem and not the solution. Stop standing at the gate complaining about what's going on. Stand up on your feet, go in there and vote, and let your voice be your vote, and your vote be your voice. The ballot. The ballot. The ballot is sacred. The ballot. The ballot means something. And I want every member of Canaan and those who are here today to contact 25 people between now and Tuesday on your email distribution list. Encourage people to go out and vote. Shame on us if we stay home. Shame on us if we stay home on Tuesday. Vote before you go to work. Vote on your lunch break. Vote before you go home. But my God Almighty, don't stay home and not vote. It is clear. It is crystal clear that the coalition that is progressive in this country are those who believe in the beloved community are those who understand progressive policy. Yes, sir. When our president came into office, he came into the office with a record deficit. Yes, Two walls. Yes, right. 39 people without health care. Yes, Unemployed. Schools fell. Yes, Schools were factories for prison. And now they're saying it's time for a change. No, he inherited the problem. He inherited a mess. He inherited bad policies. He inherited a global community that was mad at us because we attacked a country that we didn't have a problem with. We attacked a country. We started a war based on lies. They said there were weapons of mass destruction, but to this day, we never found one weapon. It was a lie. Choose the battle. Why haven't we become so quiet? 